Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Um, what am I doing this week? Well, I was sort of starting on a little side project. So I've got my 40 cases after painting. Them. I thought I'll share it at the start because it's going to be one of those developers that goes along and ideas will change. So where did it start? Well, it started with IKEA. It always starts with somewhere like that, doesn't it? Right. So I picked up some of these. So these are this one. Glass domed pots. These ones are quite deep. There's two of these. Is that one? It's a shallow one, which is a bigger area. Like that. So I've got those two. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I have an idea on the big one. So here's the big one. Don't like to boast. Um, so what have we got? Nice glass stone. Plastic brass replica style base, nice bit of weight to it. And I'll just cut some foam circles. Ah, is that a secret clue? Might be. Right, so what am I thinking? So I'm thinking we have a base. Obviously, the base needs to be smaller than the actual circumference inside or diameter inside. Um, so the lid fits on. Done that bit. And I've cut another one. Another two five millimeters smaller. So what I'm aiming to do is I'm gonna I am gonna go for a tower. And I can go for a bottom floor, middle floor, and a roof, which will fit within this. And I'm thinking of going three possibly a half, or I might bring it to like two thirds and then leave this piece open to see in. Um, I'll see how it plays. I'm thinking maybe somewhere between a half and a two thirds, maybe. Just the, you want to be able to see in it, but you want to get the feel of the shape of the room as well. Thinking stone base for the first floor, stone top. Middle floor, I'm still undecided if I want to go stone or pure wood. Maybe do some nice woodwork underneath the floors to show between the rooms, like beams and support struts and some fancy stuff. Any ideas? Let me know. Um, possibly put a staircase coming up the back. So inside maybe have a staircase, but obviously the more you put in it, the more you take the room out that you can actually use. And the figures I want to use, this is the reason I've got some nice let's see in Midland miniatures apprentices. So I'm thinking like a wizard's apprentice tower. So you could possibly get three might be an overcrowd if you put some bookcases in and stuff. So maybe one or two on each floor. Just to go up something nice to show them off. Do I put lighting in it? Or do I use the cabinet lighting? I've got a gla uh, glass cabinet we all use from Ikea again. And I'm thinking I could just let that light work. Downside is it's gonna if it's got a solid top the light won't penetrate down. But I can put some stained glass windows going up, which would let in some light. But I don't think you'd get enough light to really see in it, especially if you go two th thirds round. If you only went half, it probably would work. So that's something else I've got to play with. I think what I'll end up doing is cutting the wall to fit in. And obviously slicing it to make it fit round and have a look at it as i said this is sort of going to be one of those little side projects that i'm going to dive in and out of between other things and as ideas come to me it'll be like i'll cut the wall i'll look at it does it work do i like it don't i like it and go from there probably pin a lot of stuff as i go instead of fully fixing it so i'm put bits together have a look at it and go yeah, I like that, that works, or that doesn't quite work, light doesn't get into it, haven't got enough room in there for the figures, do I get rid of the staircase and put a ladder in, do I completely forget the staircase and say the staircase is actually on the side that you've cut out, so there's various options, you can force perspective a little bit, because you can push your book, make your bookcases actually quite thin at the back, if you're going to put a curved bookcase running along the back, instead of making it a full depth, the scale book you can do sort of a full scale so you've got the 
front looking like a full scale bookcase. What's to say it doesn't sink slightly into the wall behind? Eh? Or oh, it's a magical bookcase. There's loads of options. Come, let me know your ideas. And we'll go from there, I think. We'll just let's see how this little side project develops. I haven't really been up to much this week. Um, last week I was ill, so as you can tell from last week's video, as I was coming down with something at the time, um, which I was down with during the week and then edited the video up on the Saturday or the Friday. See, don't know what day it is. And got that out to you. And I did trim these up probably over the weekend. I had a quick look and thought, yep, yeah, I've got some ideas. Um, if it's still September 2018, there is a giveaway running on the channel. Please go and have a look at the video and see if you want to enter. It's always good to have something free. Yay. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, get it out there. Let me know your ideas, stick them down in the comments. Let me have some ideas for the um, smaller ones. One thing I will say with the smaller ones, the inside is actually quite nice and deep. So you could fit a tea light in underneath and have a base that you can actually put a light source in. You could do a resin base, so like a water style base. So there's options there. They're obviously going to be in the future, but any ideas, greatly welcome. I'm stick down some notes in my book and go, right, I know what I'm thinking of there. And then play with ideas to work around it and come up with some techniques. Um, key factor always is with terrain, let's try and make it as cheap as possible, but look as good as possible at the same time. Right, that's me waffling. I've got to stop waffling. I'll see you all soon. You take care and have a good week gaming. Cheers. Bye.